What's up guys, Matt here from Matt Mines Crypto. Excited to bring a video to you today. I am doing an unboxing and an informational video on the Magic X M2 Pro Miner. I just got it in the mail. I'm excited to unbox it, get it out of its cellophane here, and show you what's in the box. Uh, this is my second Match X M2 Pro. My first one, you can see we got running up here. This is a brand new one. I'm getting number two up and running because I do love the project so much, and I'm excited to show you all about it. So with that said, Let's get right into it. So for starters, we're gonna show you the box here. It's a uh, super sturdy. It's uh, really well put together. It's a, a thick material. And uh, you'll see once I open up the box that it is uh, very well secured on the inside. All right, we got the cover off and you can see what it looks like. You got a direction package on the top here. Then inside you have everything uh, nicely uh, secured by foam. And uh, you got the main uh, unit here. We got a couple antennas, power cord, uh, the power over ethernet uh, adapter there. And then it looks like just some screws there. But I'm gonna take everything out and show you exactly what everything is as it comes in the box. All right, I got everything out of the box here and you can see there's not a whole lot of components to it, right? Um, super simple setup, uh, which I'll elaborate more once I go over the information piece of it. But you can see there's very few things within the box. Uh, you got the main uh, M2 Pro Miner here. Um, you have the power supply uh, for the power over internet uh, adapter there, uh, which gets plugged into the ethernet wires. They give you two ethernet cords, uh, different lengths, depending on where you're gonna be putting your uh, Match X M2 Pro. You have uh, three antennas that get installed at the top of the miner here. They give you a little sticker, some swag there, some hardware to be able to uh, mount the miner to the wall. And then if you end up doing it outdoors or putting it on a pole, you have a, a pole mount there. So super simple, not a whole lot of components. Um, it's gonna be really easy to set up. Uh, like I said, this is my second one that I have. Um, so I'm familiar with the setup and uh, the maintenance and putting it together and everything. So. Uh, I do remember it took five minutes. I'm gonna go through that process again and I'll let you know exactly how long that takes. So with that said, we're gonna get right into the setup. So uh, as you'll see, I'll have pop up right here. Uh, it took eight minutes and 55 seconds for me to get my second Match XM2 Pro up running green lit, green lit uh, meaning that it's up running, mining, working. And um, yeah, super exciting that it took uh, that period of time and uh, you might be thinking, yeah, maybe it took me a shorter period of time because I have another one up and running. Uh, I, will, I will take a picture and I'll have this upload right here. Uh, you'll see how simple the instructions are. They're literally uh, unscrew a couple screws, scan the QR code, uh, attach the three antennas to three nanoseconds. Uh, then I had to connect a couple wires, uh, connect one more wire and then uh, secure it to the wall. So eight minutes and 55 seconds. Some of you might be thinking that took too much time, but uh, I took my time and I took a, took a break, had a sip of water here and there. But uh, yeah, eight minutes and 55 seconds to get this thing out of the box, read the instructions, up and running, and I'm gonna skip over to my computer over here and go over what it is, what it does, and what you can expect by running one of these in your home. So give me a second, get set up, and I'll be right back. All right, cool, and we're back, and like I said, we got it all set up and running. I'm gonna go over some information pieces right now to describe what it is, what it does, uh, how long shipping took, how much it cost me, all those juicy details. So uh, first off, uh, what is it? It's a, a project run by the MXC Foundation, and the MXC Foundation is based out of Berlin, uh, Germany. Uh, the company itself, uh, says it best so i'm going to read directly off the website right now and have it pop up so that you can uh, get a good understanding of what it is that the mxc project does right so what it is is uh the m2 pro powers the revolutionary low power wide area network an ambitious global movement led by the mxc foundation creating a free decentralized iot network for everyone due to the low power requirements of the m2 pro we've successfully We've successfully changed the mining world, making it easier, cheaper, and more profitable to mine multiple tokens than before. So basically what they're doing is they're making a decentralized uh, wireless network where um, 
they have no infrastructure costs or anything. What they have is they have people like you and I. We have the miners up and running, shooting off radio signals, which is creating a network which uh, the MXC Foundation is using to sell to other businesses um, to utilize that network. So instead of uh, the MXC Foundation paying uh, different companies to put up satellites in the sky or to maintain cell towers to shoot off radio signals. Uh, they're rewarding us in their tokens, the MXC token, uh, for uh, providing that radio coverage and that wireless network. So that's it in a nutshell, essentially. It's a, a simple plug and play miner uh, that shoots off radio signals and that you get re rewarded for it. It's not your uh, traditional ASIC uh, computer miner uh, that's loud, uses a lot of energy consumption. Uh, this one, there's no technical skills involved. It's super simple to set up and to uh, maintain. Uh, it's silent and it's uh, very low cost and low energy consumption. I believe it costs about $5 a year to run this miner um, for the entire year, which is uh, next to nothing, right? So um, it's uh, just an awesome project and a cool thing. That's why I bought a second one because I've enjoyed my experience in the first year with just the first one. So I decided to uh, double up and get a second one. So uh, that's why I have two now. I love the project. I love uh, just how easy it is and simple and uh, they I'm enjoying the process. So I want to jump into uh, my experience with ordering it the second time around. Um, how to order it, how much time it took, uh, what the exact cost was, and all those details. So we'll hop right into that. We'll do a screen share uh, where I'll go right into it, right? So if you're interested in ordering it all, I do have a link in the description below. It's gonna give you $50 off uh, the purchase price, um, and it will take you directly to the ordering uh, site here, which I'll be bringing up. We'll click it, and cool. So that link will take you right here. Uh, the discount code is not going to populate till you get to the checkout area. You'll see it there, but uh, it's uh, automatically uh, embedded in the cookies. You uh, won't see it right here, but it does take the discount off once you do the checkout and everything. You'll see it there. So this takes you directly to the M2 Pro ordering page. I selected my area of location, which is the USA. If you're not in the US, you would pick wherever you are from. Hit there. And then you can see right here, they have their estimated shipping times. Uh, we did just get an email yesterday that said that uh, all um, shipping times currently are about 10 days. And um, I'll be talking about this in one second, but it, it does did take me exactly 10 days to get my uh, device in my mailbox from the time I ordered. So they're spot on with that. They're saying that everything is one, one week, five to six weeks, one week, one to two weeks. Uh, the email that we just got yesterday did say that they are all around uh, one week to uh, 10 days right now. So uh, just a nice little update there. And uh, this is exactly where you would uh, cash out. You'd hit add to cart. It takes you to this area where you would check out. Um, it will make you make an account in order to check out, uh, which I'm not going to do. Uh, but uh, this also shows all the different options for payment. You can pay with your traditional credit card, you can pay with your bank debit card, uh, but you can also pay with cryptocurrency as well. You can see Bitcoin's an option, Dogecoin is an option, Ethereum, uh, Litecoin's an option. It's neat that they have all these different options, both crypto and uh, traditional fiat to be able to check out. So uh, you could literally use whatever uh, you have or uh, whatever is easiest for you uh, to be able to purchase this miner. So, the uh, question now is how much did this thing cost, right? So, uh, because I'm not going through the checkout, I'll actually just bring up my screenshots of exactly uh, the invoice and my, uh, my credit card. So, right here will pop up my actual invoice and you can see it was uh, just under 2,464 euros is uh, what it cost me to order this on uh, June 7th. So, uh, I ordered this June 7th, 2,464 euros. And um, I wasn't sure what that meant. So on this side, I'll bring up my credit card uh, transaction log here. And you can see that amount translates into uh, 2,650 US dollars. So uh, it cost me 2,650 US dollars uh, to purchase my MatchX M2 Pro that I have hanging up on the wall right here. So um, how does that compare to when I bought it a year ago? Uh, the price has actually come down a bit. Uh, I paid just under $3,000. It was like uh, $2,960 about a year ago. So the price has come down. It's $2,650 right now. And uh, I was ecstatic about that because uh, as you'll learn as I keep doing my income reports with this new miner, uh, my last one paid for itself in like 
five and a half months, uh, which is awesome for uh, a miner. And um, so the fact that the price went down uh, and it's still mining the same amount of uh, tokens every single day uh, makes me just excited because that means that it could potentially pay itself off even quicker than it did the first time around. So I'm excited and looking forward to that. It's um, just really good to see, right? So um, I'm obviously experienced. It's my second one. I've been mining uh, MXC uh, and running my M2 Pro Miner for a little bit over a year now. Uh, and I decided to delve in and get a second one and then uh, also document that journey. So uh, you might be wondering, why exactly did I get a second one? What do I love about it? Um, and I have five things that I talk about that I really enjoy about the Match X M2 Pro. The first thing is that it is uh, weather resistant. So um, a lot of different technology and softwares and miners that I have running uh, down below here that you can't see on the, uh, my shelves are um, very very sensitive you can't put them outside there you can't be rugged you can't be rough with them uh, this one the match XM2 Pro you can be it's a uh, weather resistant you can put it indoors outdoors you don't need a protective device over it you can shake it move it around it's not going to affect it it's very uh, rugged and um, you don't need to be as careful as you are with other types of uh, miners or software or components uh, which is uh, a plus right the second reason why I love the uh, match XM2 Pro is that it is super easy to set up uh, like you saw it took me eight minutes and 55 seconds to put this together from taking it out of the box uh, to getting up on the wall uh, running effectively uh, that's not very long time uh, super simple as you know I'm not a techie tech guy I'm not technical at all so uh, the fact that I could do it in eight minutes and 55 seconds is um, impressive uh, because uh, I don't have any skill sets when it comes to technology. So uh, the fact that I got it running quickly, uh, good news for anybody who lacks uh, those tech savvy skills. Uh, the third reason why I love the Match XM2 Pro Miner is that it's a low energy consumption. Uh, like I said, it costs about $5 a year to run this device. Uh, I don't have to upgrade my electric panel. I don't have to uh, upgrade my outlets. I can plug into the normal outlets. Uh, it costs next to nothing to run. Uh, some of my miners are super expensive to run and it costs a lot in energy, uh, which um, really makes you think about the price of the tokens because um, if the token price is low, it's not earning a lot and uh, therefore you kind of question whether or not you should have it plugged in and running. Uh, the Match XM2 Pro costs so little to run and maintain that uh, it doesn't really matter what the price of the token is doing. Uh, as long as it's uh, above zero, uh, you're kind of making money uh, by running it. So uh, that's a positive thing there. Uh, the fourth thing that I have written down is that it's dead quiet, it's silent. Uh, you might be able to hear a little bit of buzzing in the background. Those are my mini ASIC miners and a couple of different things I have running right now. Uh, the Match X M2 Pro, you can't hear anything. Those are dead quiet. If I unplugged all these other things, you wouldn't think anything else is running right now. So it's cool that it's dead quiet. I used to have it in my bedroom before and I had no idea that it was running, which is, once again, good news, a plus there. And then the last thing that I have uh, written down, the fifth thing why I love the Match X M2 Pro is that it is... As far as I know, the only multi-token miner out there. It um, it mines MXC, which is their their token. It also mines a DHX. Uh, they've been doing test nets for low-powered Bitcoin mining, and it actually gets released tomorrow, uh, June 21st, to the masses. It's um, the first run that they're doing it for everybody. There was a couple test nets where they were doing small sample groups. Now it's open to the complete public. Uh, starting tomorrow, June 21st, which is cool. That's three tokens uh, that it mines currently as of today. And um, supposedly they're working on being able to mine Polkadot, which is also uh, great news there. So it's the only multi-token miner that I'm aware of. And um, I just love that about it, that it kind of gives that flexibility and um, other options outside of just mining one different token, you know? So, um, as you know, I said it a couple times during this video, I do like the Match XM2 Pro Miner, I like the MXC Foundation, I love the videos that they release, I love their customer support, they're knowledgeable, they're always giving new updates via email, their Telegram channel, uh, their YouTube channel. Um, they're just really informative and uh, on the up and up as far as delivering information and just showing you that they're growing. They're always adding team members, they're always adding new partnerships and letting their community know about it. So it's just really promising and rewarding as a, um, 
I guess, what am I? I'm, I'm a customer. I'm a customer of the M2 Pro Miner, but just a supporter of the project. Uh, it's really promising to hear all the updates and whatnot and just to be in the know. So if you have any questions on the uh, MXC Foundation, the MatchX M2 Pro, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear them. I'd love to answer them. If you are interested in purchasing one and getting involved in the project yourself, uh, please use my discount code uh, in the description below. Like I said, it's $50 off. Uh, every dollar helps, right? So uh, make sure you click that link in the description. And uh, with all that said, we'll catch you guys on the next one.